Welcome to the National Harbor guys. I hope you're enjoying this third person view. It's actually I have two cameras running at the same time and I got them synced which is kind of neat. I've always liked the third view. That's how I like to play video games. Look at that. That is awesome. You got the MGM over there. I'm going to go to the right lane. We'll fly around here. But then you get this great view of the Potomac. And this is the poorest part of the entire area, really. This awesome view of the Potomac. One of the things that happened online, there's this group called Moto Ethans. And I think it's run by a guy that owns the gas station, Woodbridge, you know. Woodbridge is known as Hoodbridge. Oh my god, is this traffic? Holy cow, I guess uh, traffic is starting back up. Apparently another guy on a motorcycle. I think there was two deaths over the weekend of uh, motorcycle riders dying because they were running away from cops. And one guy died and I think he was a friend of whatever in the group and it's always this group, Moto Ethans. So this um, guy puts it up, you know, rest in peace, yada yada, yeah. Oh yeah, they got like a uh, police report, like biker uh, chase in Virginia by police, 130 miles an hour excess. And then later on in the group you see the reply, uh, Ryder didn't make it. How convenient, he didn't make it. You know, it's like he went out for eggs and he came back and he failed with the egg stuff. Okay, he didn't make it. Just a part of like the whole biker life, but the from the police makes you a biker. Uh, I don't get it. Like if you're doing like 130 miles an hour and the police comes after you, in a way I think it's very bold, right? It's like very outlawish. But it, the people that run are the dumbest people in society because they have nothing to lose. If you were to ask these guys, what do you have? Like, do you own anything? Oh, I own a motorcycle and a Corvette, and I live in this shitty house. Maybe I'm wrong, but this whole biker life thing, it just seems like people are compensating for something. It's like a lack of family, so they built this whole like motorcycle life thing. Oh shit, I wanted to go the other way. God damn it. I guess I can go and cut through here. I'm actually not technically supposed to cut through here, but... Yeah, like the whole biker running from police thing, it's like a new subculture that it just kind of started out with the entitlement culture that we have today. Welcome to the George Washington Parkway. This is a beautiful drive and this is a commuting route. When these bikers, they run away from the police, they do it in Maryland. And Maryland is really lenient with these guys just uh, doing whatever the hell they want because they're self-entitled. You know, and I feel bad for the guy that died, but the reaction that was posted was a little bit strange. I'll put the comments above and below. First, you know, there's a comment by a guy, and he said something like, oh, you motherfuckers, you're always uh, running from the police and getting killed. Stop running from the police, you fucking idiot. Something to that effect after the guy died, and yeah, the guy died, and we should be respectful, but man, there's been so many of these motorcyclists that have run and died that I can see why people are getting angry. And then I looked at the comment, and there's like 10 people that, you know, thumbed it up. And later on, of course, it's, it's just snowballs, and then there's the people who are a little bit more brainless, who are like, uh, basically just threatening him. If I see you, I'm going to kick your ass. I think it was some guy Nate. I'm gonna... And by the way, they said it in such a way that it was hard to read. It's kind of like you wonder if English is their first language. And the, one of the guy's comments was like, something about bike life. 
this guy that criticized him is not into the bike life. That's why he's criticizing. Look at that airplane coming down. But my question to you is, what is the bike life? Getting a speeding ticket for like $200, $300, maybe more, but and then coming away with your life, that's, that's a win from a cop. But you know, that's never been my case. Like I've never, I never like wanted to run from a cop. Like all the cops that pulled me over, I just pulled over for them. Freaking lady, she get cars all busted up. Okay, I'm gonna have to go this way. Shit, I almost hit that car. Welcome to Washington DC, guys. It's gonna be packed full of traffic, I think. I wanted to give you a little view of uh, the National Mall. I haven't been here in a while. I usually like to come here on my scooter. He's got a mask on. All by himself. Interesting. Alright, there's the Capitol right there. Jesus. Looks like they decided to... What? Another freaking light. So this is Constitution, and this is the National Gallery. Man, it's like a horde of lights everywhere. I don't know if you guys ever been to DC, but this is the downtown. This is where they usually like shut down the roads for parades and stuff. It's usually this area. Man, there's so many lights. It's as if they uh, did this on purpose to piss me off. the traffic. Such massive people here. I'll go this way. So this would be one of the areas where the rich of the like the nouveau hip government worker of DC lives. Yeah, you know if you ever think about your tax dollars at work, yeah they're here. You see these people drinking their Starbucks while walking. That, that's them making like two hundred thousand dollars and going to bars, living the life. That's uh, that's who they are. These people here. If you don't know how much this area costs, it's expensive. Look at this. Look at this bike. God damn. Somebody hit it. I don't know what it is, but that's sad. You know, I've talked about this before. When I'm riding through here, you'll see like apartments with no justice, no peace in the windows. And you'll see Black Lives Matter and all these apartments. But the weird and strange thing is that you don't see that in areas that actually need justice and peace, like uh, poor areas. You don't see any of that. You don't see that often in even suburbs. It's a very strange phenomena. I almost feel that people are putting that up so they can virtue signal to their friends that they're uh, high, high, high and mighty. I think a lot of these signs are coming down slowly, silently, because I think people are getting embarrassed of putting them up. I think they're kind of finally seeing that they were just virtue signaling. Labs Matt or organization was just raking in the dough. I think they made a billion dollars. And the ladies, they bought like a, a million dollar house in the area where black people don't live. You know, they decided not to live with the black people. I guess where the Black Lives Matter people live. Like the with the white I'm all about social justice people they all live around here and they talk about how they miss chocolate city that used to be the name of washington dc chocolate city and then it became white oh this is kingsbury 
to private school. That's another dirty secret of uh, Washington, D.C. All of these people virtue signaling about how we need to help black people. At the same time, when they have kids, they, they don't take them to the public schools. They just remove them and put them in these private schools and charter schools. This bike as a commuter is good if you're on the highway, but Jesus Christ! This thing in DC traffic is just boiling. Hey, uh, hey this guy just read the stop. <laughs> Downtown Silver Spring. Well, squids, thanks for riding with me. Remember, bike of life is really not what it's meant to be. It's really more like poser life or summertime life, like guys that don't really ride life, sausage fast life. I mean, I could go on and on. It's not really like about motorcycle riding. I think it's like a lifestyle. It's like, uh, guys, why is this guy slowing down all this time? Oh, he's looking at his phone. Sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here. The cops won't bother me.